we've been trying to think quite hard about what the the big challenges in this area of precision medicine will be and what are the skill base what's the skill base that you need to tackle the, those problems and I think it's typified by some of the large-scale projects that we've activated to try and address some of these issues helping to redefine diseases in a much more precise way so we have a very large genetics program and that's coupled to some of the biggest cohorts of patients available globally UK Biobank which is 500,000 individuals the Million Woman Study, which is 1.3 million women, and the Kadura Study based in China, which is another 500,000 patients. Those are all part of the Oxford agenda and make it uniquely positioned to tackle this issue of precision medicine. We're currently building a big data institute, which will house almost 600 scientists who come from mathematics, statistics, engineering, computing science, to try and take healthcare data and analyze it in very precise ways to try and extract useful information out of it. And we've also got the Precision Cancer Medicine Institute, which will have state-of-the-art laboratory facilities for defining cancer, but also a range of different therapeutic arenas to which we can tune based on our diagnostic information. So state-of-the-art radiation therapy, including proton beam therapy, uh, a, a Windows trials unit, which will allow us to do more early Windows trials of drugs uh, and of course, surgical innovation, which is also uh, thoroughly embedded in the Institute. So those are the kind of things that we're trying to do to help develop this particular space. So we think precision medicine is going to be one of the key elements that allows all healthcare systems to get over this significant challenge of funding, which is now slowing down the ability to advance healthcare systems throughout the Western world and indeed throughout the global economies. So I, I think that the ability to integrate some of this technology innovation and technological solutions, defining patient populations much more precisely, so we use resource to treat the people who need to be treated, not everybody who happens to have a particular disease name associated with them, is going to be crucial in terms of extracting resource and focusing resource much more powerfully in healthcare systems. So we're working with the Hospital Trust here, which is progressing a program of integrated care to try and sing, see if we can provide uh, within a single system tertiary care, community care, primary care that will allow us to be much more efficient as to the way we precisely define patient populations, keep them out of hospital, use digital and technical solutions to, to identify those who need therapy from those who don't and manage that in a much more distributed fashion. So we're really excited about that as being the exemplar by which precision medicine is likely to have its first major impact.